Hey everybody, welcome to Beers with Braveheart, the beer cast with good sides and best buds. Joining me today is uh, my good friend Will, and today we're drinking the Bootleggers Rustic Rye IPA. Slanja. Slanja. <laughs> It's a beer. That is a beer. I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> it's made of liquid. Yeah. And it's served in something that's solid. So let's uh, let's dive right into these numbers, I guess, or something. What's what? What is this beer? What is it called? Should we do a little intro thing that goes like down out dig it to The rustic rye IPA from Bootleggers Brewery. It's based in Fullerton, California. It is an American rye IPA um, with a AB with an ABV of 6.2 percent, and it's got an IBU of 85. Ooh, it's a bitter bitch. Yeah. Now, most um, from my understanding, my very basic understanding of IBUs is that uh, like 60 is high. Yeah. And IPAs are trying to break records by going up to like late 80s, but this isn't that bitter. It's supposed to be super bitter, but it's not. No, it's good. <laughs> I mean, it'll do that to you. Do that yeah. to your insides. You're gonna fart like crazy later. I can tell. You s- ladies, <laughs> <laughs> ladies love that gas. Um, Can't get enough of that gas. Yeah, it's good. Can't I mean, bubble gut. <laughs> I don't think I've had a rye beer before. Whatever it is, rye. Yeah, I don't. Rustic rye. I've had rye whiskey. I've mm. never had a rye. Beer, that's, I don't think. That's what I was, so I don't know what rye is, so I looked it up. Yeah. And I got some facts. Let's do it. Rye rhymes with... <laughs> oh, no. Lie. I've never gotten this far. So I don't, I don't <laughs> Why? Why? Um, but rye actually originates in, in Asia. Oh, okay. And in, in 1500, sorry, 15, yes, 1500 BCE, it was brought Ooh. east, west, before Christ. west, before West. So East West. It came from Asia, went through the Middle East, mm. and then eventually made its way to England, where this is being recorded right now. <laughs> but then it actually it proliferated in Turkey. Turkey's where it, it really found its way and it became this thing oh, that we okay. all love. So <clears throat> it's like spaghetti. I I guess. I mean it's a it's a wheat. It's in the wheat family. It's not really wheat. Yeah, basically. Well, kind of. Yeah. It's like a, like you said, the wheat family. They're adjacent, which is why you can make <laughs> whiskey out of it. But I like, I like rye whiskey. It's, it's a little bit sweeter. It's not, doesn't have necessarily the punch. So maybe that's why, even though this technically has a higher, you know, on the higher scale of IBUs, why mm-hmm. it's still okay. I like this a lot, actually. Yeah, it's super good. The, um, when did the Roman Empire fall? Hmm. Thousands. Thousand something. AD. AD, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the Romans drank this. They had access to rye. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I'm sure they did. That's super interesting. They were they were very much um I mean, yeah, they had beer, but they drank a lot of wines yeah. and meads. They're like most common alcohol in ancient Rome was uh, like a type of mead. What is mead made of? It's like is that um, a very, very popular one is honey. It's okay. kind of like fruit, sort of. Mostly honey. Interesting. Um, but it's like a um, it's a heated, so they would have a spiced mold of wheat mead. So it's like, it's a hot drink. Yeah. The closest is maybe, um, uh, have you ever had hotty toddy? No. It's, it's like a, it's a hot, like, bourbon with like fall spices and stuff okay that sounds good that's it's not bad that would that's pretty close to what yeah. you you know modern equivalent i guess but i think we should have a rhyme off rhyme off yeah you know because rye rye rhyme, rye rhyme off yeah rye okay road toad code fuck <laughs> chode <laughs> <laughs> what did i say road yeah. Code mode. Ah, so it's what you're fucking drunk to even do this. Yeah. Shit, I can fucking... Ladies. Um, 
We could do a quick poem too. Do you have a poem about rye? Just a poem, okay, like a haiku. <laughs> yes, I have my favorite one. I have a really good haiku about getting out of bed. Oh, you can. You, yeah, that's good. Do you yours. Ready? Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, I don't want to get out of bed. Well, my my favorite one is haikus can be hard. Sometimes they just don't make sense. Refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's my, that's my favorite poem of all time. Mm-hmm. That or roses are red, violets are red, tulips are red, the garden's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So I guess the Polish love rye. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. 36% of, of, uh, of rye consumption and or also... Produ- 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 yeah, oh, okay. that one is, uh, is from Poland. Huh. Did I say 36 you said 36. That was right. 21% Germany. So, oh, okay. 50% of the world's production of rye and consumption. Can you see it? Can you see the little Polish people in there? And, and, and the Germans? There's a few less. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. But yeah, I guess 50%, over 50% of the world's production is from uh, 57 exactly. Is from, from Poland. Just rye. Poland and Germany. Poland and Germany. Do you know how much is from Merca? I can ask Google. Hey, Siri! Yeah, Three. Right. 3%. Did you ask Google with your mind? Yeah. <laughs> or your fingers? Both. 3%. Huh. Well, I mean, of all the rye in the world, that's that's a pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So bootleggers. Bootleggers. The brewery. Do yeah. you know how or by who it was founded? Seven. Seven. You're pretty close. Good. Apparently it was founded by this guy, Aaron. No cheating. No cheating. Talk Bar- Barkenhagen. Okay. Aaron Barkenhagen. Um, and he had the idea to actually make it a business. While he was in his entrepreneurship class at Cal State Fullerton. That's fucking nutter butters. Butter nutters. Nothing on my butts. Wait. <laughs> but, but. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. I mean, I, I, nuts or butts. I'm. Butts and nuts, nuts I'm, and butts, fingers and butts, sticks and butts, sucking down on fats. That's outrageous fun. Oh, well, one guy doesn't like blowjobs, <laughs> one guy likes. <laughs> like, <"Bit." laughs> but speaking of sports, you know what school still has sports? Cal State Fullerton. And that was where this guy, Aaron, um, I guess he even um, set his business plan and pitched it to his business class. Segway. Aaron Segway. is the pre- founder. founder of Bootleg. But, but is not Founders Ale <laughs> because that is another brand that I think is also in Orange County. Oh, <laughs> Founders sure. Brewing. Huh. There's a couple. Uh, Orange County is kind of a little hub for it too, and then you can kind of get. Well, I guess Beachwood. Beachwood is technically Long Beach, but also Seal Beach. No, that's still Long Beach. The one that's the actual brewing, though, I think, is Long Beach, like right. where they actually brew the beer. But even the one that's that's like down the street, that's still Long Beach. San Gabriel River is the border between Los Angeles county and orange county it's also between long the, beach yeah the one, the one that's, that's here right is here. seal beach nope that's long beach Ma- on main street seal beach is long beach Fuck. I think the ballast point you're thinking of ballast point I'm sorry yeah that's long beach yeah, yeah. you're right beach with ballast point is san diego should be paid attention in the very first episode of your drink every day this one's kind of going off the rails a little bit yeah it's good that's okay yeah, he's going off the rails just like sometimes like bootleggers had to when the when the when the FBI was on him when the Pinkertons were just in in their trail. Pew, 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 pew. But it's a good it's a good beer. Cheers, Sonja. Let's fuck it. Alright. Yeah, it's really I I mean, I still don't think the glass makes that much of a difference. I don't think so it's either. It's not like wine. Like wine, you can tell. Even that's bullshit. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, I can tell. The wine. idea the idea is that the glass is supposed to help it reach. You, the reality is it helps it breathe in a different way. Which okay, that that's yeah. not bullshit. But a lot of the science behind it is that it will help it reach specific uh, taste buds on your tongue. And it's like yeah, there's the sweet and the sour, and that and it's like this fucking bullshit. Your tongue is not built like that. It's like a thumbprint. It's different for every single person. Hence, why people have different tastes. Yeah. So that's a lot of what goes into the glass. 
again, the way it helps it aerate it. Okay, that's that's fine. I think, I assume. I'm just trusting the experts here, which is not me. I just drink the beer and the wine. It's tasty, though. Well, we drank our beers. We had a conversation. Almost. Almost. So uh, I just want to thank Will for joining me again on this episode of Beers Braveheart. I just want to thank Andrew for for doing this and getting this all together. And and that fucking hat that you're wearing. Yeah. I got it. Black looks good on you and in you. It'd be about tree (laughs) fitty. Yeah. Thank you for Thank watching. You. Thanks subscribe. for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Hit smash that like smash, button. Hit the smash thing. That like button. Do the you stuff you're supposed to do for YouTube. Follow uh, us whatever. on Patreon. Patreon. Uh, we got a grinder. We got a um, second grinder. Second <laughs> ghost grinder. Ghoster. Uh, and uh, 